Most of us, when we're starting out learning how to play disc golf, we struggle with a nose up release. Nose up really sucks because it slows your disc down because it's not flying very aerodynamic. It makes it a lot harder to control the height and it makes your discs fly a lot more stable. These are our tips to help fix a nose up release. The first thing is to fix your grip. Most of us, when we're taught how to grip a disc, we're taught a four finger power grip, which is four fingers on the bottom and your thumb on top and you're good to go. But there's a little bit more nuance to it. While that is technically a power grip, the way that I teach a grip is to set the disc at more of a nose down angle in your hand. So I start with lining up the disc with the middle of my palm and the webbing in between my two fingers, and then I fold my fingers around. And what that does is it sets this fleshy part of your pointer finger on top of the disc. And that means the disc is at a much more nose down angle. You can test your grip by just reaching out in front of you with a disc. And if the disc is tilted backwards and enough that you can't correct for it with tilting your wrist down, that means your grip is probably part of the cause of a nose up throw. Right. One of the most common ways people will try and fix a nose up throw is by throwing lower. They'll try and aim at the ground and then that'll kind of air bounce the disc and get it flying down the fairway, which will succeed in getting the disc flat relative to the ground, but it's not exactly the most efficient way to throw. You see, nose up is relative to the direction the disc is flying, not necessarily to the ground. A disc can be nose up relative to the ground, but if the shot is aimed up and over some trees, for example, then the disc can still be nose down relative to the direction it's flying. So vice versa, if a throw is aimed at the ground and it's nose up, it'll fly straight down the fairway. But if that same thrower were to fix their grip and fix their wrist and end up with a nose down throw, it would go straight in the ground if they didn't change anything else. So my best way to fix this is to change your reach back and your release point. Your reach back, you wanna make sure that it's underneath your chest, it's, it's low. You don't wanna lean over, but you wanna make sure that the disc stays low and then your release point should be about chest height. And that will create a slight upward tilt to your pole because most golf shots end up going maybe 15 or 20 feet up in the air. And so that is that does need a slight upward tilt to it. From there, if you can fix your grip and you can fix your wrist angle, you'll end up with a nose down throw that will fly a lot farther than the same shot air skipped. Right. Maybe the easiest thing to fix is your wrist. Something that I heard a long time ago on fixing a nose up angle is to tilt your wrist down like you're pouring coffee. If you imagine pouring coffee out of a carafe, the kind of wrist angle that you have to do to get that coffee pour is very similar to tilting the disc down. But this isn't gonna do you any good if your grip is nose up and if you're throwing the disc at the ground. Like I said earlier, if you fix the nose up issue but you're still throwing at the ground, the disc is just gonna go at the ground. So once you fix the other two things, if the disc is still skying out on you, try to tilt your wrist down a little bit more. Once again, you can test it just by reaching the disc out in front of you and seeing how much you have to flex your wrist down to get that flat angle. So thanks for watching this video on how to fix your nose up. Let us know down in the comments if you have any struggles with your nose up throw and what tips have worked for you to try and combat that. Make sure you subscribe for more content on how to become a better disc golfer from Dynamic Discs, and we'll see you next time.